Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, Royals fans. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. This is going to be the next edition of the Royal Cake. If you enjoy the content and have not already, please consider subscribing. Really appreciate the 158 of you that have thus far. But this is going to be the preview to the next game against the Trois Rivière Lions as our Royals look to bounce back from one of the really bad defeats of the season, but one of the only select few which is very good to see on the early season, obviously not getting beat heavily in games very much so. But obviously we saw young Peyton Pritchard, or not Peyton Pritchard, Jacob Pritchard was thinking of basketball for a second. Jacob Pritchard um, have keen success yet again and continue to be an absolute boss out there, and that is putting it mildly on the ice. But you have to watch again, Oliver Archambault, Peter Abadonato, Justin Ducharme, Anthony Nealis, Sean St. Amant the most um, detrimental guys to watch on Trois Rivière, who, again, is a very competitive team, but not a team you should lose to 5-1. to one. Like I said in the recap, this is a game you really want to see bounce back, and I expect the Royals to do so because we haven't seen them have back-to-back -back off tilts this entire season, and I don't expect it to start happening. And then Charles David Bodoin, and then obviously Golame Bodoin, both Bodoins, and then Galape, um, Alva Galapo, um, is the other defenseman you mostly have to watch, as well as Brodeur, and then they have um, a guy like uh, Lewis Dean when he plays. It's just one of those simple Eddie defensemen um, that doesn't do anything overly impressive, but when he plays, kind of plays a decent, steady Eddie game. But yeah, they got a very solid, very competitive team, which is hats off to them. Um, they either are going to have Felipe DeRogiers or Kevin Poulin in net, and uh, both have been competitive this year. DeRogiers has been better than Kevin Poulin. Uh, Kevin Poulin's all the way up in the threes, something where DeRogiers is 908 and 273, so I would think they would give him. But who knows? Kevin Poulin is a pretty solid uh, netminder in his own right, just not having a very good start um, to his season. So we'll have to see if he goes tonight, if we're able to get what he's been, and then the Royals can take advantage of that. Or if we'll get DeRogiers, who's a much more consistent, steady Eddie goaltender back there. But when it comes to the Reading Royals, obviously um, we've had Kirill in. He was hung out to dry last game. Hayden Hockey had a hell of a first game against the Admirals. I envision he's going to play one of these games, obviously, of the next two against Trois Rivières. So I would think if he plays, I haven't seen anything of who's going in this tilt. If he plays this one, uh, he will have a very good game. Just like his first, he's been doing great. Um, obviously staying ready, staying prepped for a game. And he obviously showed and panned out. And he's obviously coming from a solid hockey program, Providence College. And that obviously showed. And also the goalie, oddly enough, John Gilly said the Phantom sign, just for people that are also Phantom fans and Royals fans, is also Calls from the or hails from the great Providence College, but if it's Krill or if it is um, Hayden Hawkey, I have confidence in both of them. When it comes to defense, we know how much I love David Drake, one of the most underrated players um, in the ECHL because he's just a great anchor on your defense. Nothing overly sexy, obviously, he just plays a great defensive game. Gets the puck out of the zone, stick checks it off of people, and actually delivers it to somebody else up the ice. A former seventh round pick for the Philadelphia Flyers. Great fan favorite, great defenseman for the team. And then obviously McNally and Cormier are very good. And then Crocock, the way sometimes when you watch him, he kind of gets in front of the net and plays a little bit more like a forward. That's kind of fun to watch, I will say, um, as well. Pritchard, again, absolute boss, absolute dog out there. Badikoff, great goal scorer. Braden Lowe, guy that can do it all wherever you put him. He's basically like a Boone Jenner of the ECHL. Whatever you tell him to do and whatever you put him to do. Uh, he does. Um, and then Frank Deshaw, a great fan favorite. Hopefully Josh is able to come back soon. Cam Strong, I think, has looked pretty solid as a rook in terms of my opinion. And then, obviously, Coop's mostly been uh, back and forth this year. But when he's played, he's looked solid in terms of uh, my opinion. But... Let's see what the Royals are able to do. Are they able to bounce back from a very off game, which I believe they are going to be able to do so? Or are they going to have back-to-back -back games with Trois Rivière at home 
is able to ride off of the coattails of their crowd and really get energy early and be able to keep carrying that energy and momentum through the entire game. I think after last game, it is kind of key that the Royals score the first goal in this game to kind of flatten any momentum that Trois Riviere has coming in from last game. And then if they do that, I think they have a 90% chance to win this game. Honestly, I really do. And it's also going to be interesting to see how Ryan Roth um, plays as well. So we'll have to see how it he does. Um, the guy hailing from Ledoux, short guy, 5'9". How does he play? But that'll be interesting to see. He's playing what he does as well. But everybody have a great and pleasant day. This has been a preview of the Reading Royals to Trois Riviere Lions. Hopefully our Royals are able to bounce back. I believe they will. We haven't seen two back-to-back -back off tilt by our Royals, and I don't think it will start now. Peace out, everybody. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below on the subscribe button or on the widget up above that's easy to use. Peace out, everybody.